you'll see that this next contestant's been quite humble. There's not a lot in there, but uh, this gentleman's been a numerous finalist in the Nationals. He's won the uh, Australasian Championships twice. Um, very well known, very respected. Please welcome Mark Summich. Good morning everybody and uh, welcome. Welcome to Sandringham for our midwinter auction. It's fair to say the sun might be shining a little brighter for one of you in the next uh, 10 minutes or so. But my name is Mark Summits and I'll be running proceedings here today. If you do have any issues at any stage, let me know and I'll do my very best to resolve those for you. See whether we can get one of you over the line as they say. I'm here on behalf of the team at uh, Summits Estate Agents. We're proud to be representing our owners here today. And I'm going to kick uh, through some of the terms and conditions of the auction. I'll give you a brief rundown of what we've got up for offer here today, and we'll get into the auction promptly afterwards. So to your contract, and we're here today on behalf of Hugh John McGuinness as executor. We're selling the property at 3 Fowles Avenue in Sandringham. And it's all that parcel of land containing 809 square metres, more or less being lot 27 on DP 6417, and all containing that freehold title, the very best title our country can offer you, volume 29B, folio 129 in the North Auckland Registry. Now we sell the property today, land and buildings clearly, along with the stove. Now I must say at this stage that it's not in working order, but uh, you have been well informed of that previously. The fixed floor coverings, and I must say at this stage that you are obliged to keep them. They will not be removed prior to a settlement, as many of you have asked. Along with a few motley curtains, the blinds and the light fittings are also included in the sale today. Now the good news for you is we're offering a vacant possession on this home, don't even be slightly confused about that, and settlement is down for the 31st of July 2011. If you don't settle on that date however, you will be burdened with penalty interest at 14% per annum, so avoid that at all costs, and inevitably today all bids will include GST, so of course what you bid here today, that's right, that's what you end up paying for the property. Now my owners have given me a written reserve figure. I'm not at liberty to disclose that to you, no, no, but subject to it being reached here today, the highest bidder will be the purchaser. In the event of a disputed bid, I will put the property up again at the last undisputed figure, and the auctioneer here today may refuse any bid. Now look, we prefer you don't retract your bids, no, no, and of course if at any stage today I need to place a bid on the owner's behalf, I'll alert you to that immediately, so there's no confusion whatsoever. Now if you are the buyer here today, you've got a couple of simple obligations. Firstly, to sign the contract, thereby acknowledging receipt of the appropriate agreements guide which has been available for you. And secondly, and you also at that stage need to uh, put your, forward your position regarding the GST status of course. And the final obligation for you will be to pay a 10% deposit on the fall of the hammer. That wouldn't be a problem to too many of you people in this part of town I wouldn't have thought. Uh, you will know that all terms here today are uh, subject to the Real Estate Institute Code of Conduct. And of course, well, everyone's bidding in a very informed manner regarding those particulars here today. So look, I'm not going to burden you with any more of the contract, but I would like to make the assumption that you've read these documents, that you understand them, and you're bidding on these terms here today. May I make that assumption? So I have a question? Certainly, sir. How can I be sure that the vendor will be able to discharge their mortgage settlement and that their bank will allow them to settle? Well, sir, they are making uh, a, an obligation to have clear title here for you as per uh, the clauses uh, pertained in the agreement. I am not aware of any mortgage on the property because we're selling it as an executor here today, but sir, you can be utterly guaranteed under the formal contract that we're offering you here today that they will be offering you a clear settlement date on the 31st of July. I'm assuming that date's okay for you? Right, look forward to your bidding. Thank you. All right, well, look, ladies and gentlemen, Sandringham has previously been referred to as the home of the Flat Earth Society. But uh, to be frank, it's now a diverse and thriving amalgam, ladies and gentlemen, of ethnicities which would stagger you. And I put it to you that despite all of that, we are full of families, ladies and gentlemen, reveling in this environment that with longevity of tenure as their signature. They come into this part of town, they stay here, and it doesn't surprise any of us. Therefore, we've had the corresponding improvement in all schooling and public facilities. They have exponentially improved as time has gone on. You, of course, have the burgeoning St Luke's environment uh, ever increasing just around the corner, and the arterial routes now are prolific and essentially adjacent to what is, as I said, a very much a thriving suburb. 
Now here at number three, Fowles Avenue, we have uh, soil, ladies and gentlemen, previously harvesting booming vegetable gardens, market gardens right around this particular patch. Now I note here at number three behind me that we still have a blossoming Fijoa tree. But it is fair to say, and it's quite noteworthy, that during the campaign, those Fijoas have disappeared at an alarming rate. <laughs> I'm not casting any aspersions whatsoever. No, no, no. However, you have several of you been seen leaving the property with large bags. And I don't blame you. They are a delight. You'll be the recipient of those if you are here. The next produce out of this property, however, will be two prodigious townhouses to take advantage of the land holding that we have here today. Now, New Zealand out of the 1930s produced a, a, a potpourri of quality, ladies and gentlemen, whether it be my grandmother or quality residences such as these post-war. Some, it's fair to say, may have lasted a little better than others. But we are not kidding ourselves. This is a once proud home, folks, which is destined to be removed, probably by one of you. I've in fact heard at some of the open homes the words toast and history when <laughs> suggesting what this property might be up to. Nevertheless, I doubt whether your project can be completed some 84 days from today when the World Cup commences. However, it may well be a base for you. You can toll around the corner to those games, a mere 800,000 metres up the road, safe in the knowledge that you have the keys in your hand for a piece of real estate gold. Now, I know we're all looking to extend our investment portfolios, and why wouldn't you be? I say forget the percentage return. That's not what's important at the moment. These stellar land holdings, ladies and gentlemen, should be the tops of your list here today, and I urge you to take prompt action at number three, Fowles Avenue. And in light of that, I'm looking for somebody to commence proceedings and get me underway with something fair and reasonable at number three, Fowles Avenue, your fifth of an acre here, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful position. What's it to be right now? Anyone? Get me underway with something fair and reasonable, or something cheap and cheery if need be. Where are you today? Where do you want to be? Quickly now. What do I say? Half a million dollars? You'd all be in at 500,000, surely? Secure the five minutes. Promptly here now, 500, do I hear 550? Put a little 50 on top and make it five and a half for me. My opening bid and a strong bid, gentlemen, centre front here at $500,000. Do I say five and a half, ladies and gentlemen? This is your time to stamp your authority on proceedings. At a neat five, we're underway. My bid 550, surely. Once, twice at the half million dollar mark. For the one of another 50, do I say five and a half? Third and final call. Quickly now, should be a sea of arms at this sort of level. Well, I'm not even slightly confused about value, so I'm going to make a retort back against you on the owner's behalf at 550,000. I'm looking for a neat six to commence and move things on. Six promptly it is. Just looks like it's a two horse war here at 600,000. 25. 20, a quarter at 625. Now, oblige. You have a similar income if you want, sir. Can I say six and a half? Pop a little quarter, it's 50 it is on the nod. At 75 promptly here, six and three quarters now. Is it a neat seven for me, sir? At 675 to the red, I say 700,000 now. This is your time, ladies. It's, it's seven, it is. At seven now, I've got 25 here, man on a mission. At seven and a quarter now, you bid me what? 25,000 to make it three quarter million. Can I say seven? 50, 50 it is. 750, 30, 75 immediately. Three horse race should give you plenty of confidence about the property's inherent value. At seven and three quarters, the rear now, do I say eight for the one of another 25? Put a quarter out there, sir. Shall I say eight? Did you speak nothing yet? First call at $775,000. Going now, twice at that level at 775. Is it eight? 85, it's 785,000 now. And looking to make it 800, surely, sir, again, you. Do I say eight? Got to go north, south round here, sir. No good doing that. At 785,000, with the one of another 10, he bid me now once, twice at that level. Do I say 785? 795, it is. 795,000 to the rear, and 805, surely. Do I say 10 here and make it 805 for me at 95 to the rear, and 805 to bid here. 805, it isn't 15. Quickly, sir, show me you want to buy the property. You won't buy it doing that. At 805,000 with one of another 10, in or out, once now at 805. Second time. Well, silent at Fowles Avenue for your own for 15. 815 to the rear and 25 soon, immediate yeah, retort 25. 25 he says. Eight and a quarter now, 35 do I bid? You're sure now. This is your time. At $825,000, I bid it away at Fowles Avenue. Once at that level, twice at eight and a quarter. Is it 35, sir? With me or not, now you're on the cusp of something special here. At $825,000, you bid me third and final call. 
Well, sir, I don't know if you make any difference to you, but my instructions here are to sell the property now. The bid here at 830 immediately, understanding the importance being in front now, as I play for keeps, at 830,000. I'll oblige you with something similar, 35, he says promptly. Looks at winning bid here in the front row at 835,000 for the one of another bid now. I bid me once at 35, twice then, ladies and gentlemen, 40. It's a shame, sir. I thought you had the chocolates for a minute, 840. But you can rest assured you are on the verge of it. It could be a life-changing event for you. So it looks like an absolute cash cow down the track to me. But at 840000 you bid me another five, so you're not out of it. You've been a fine bidder. Bid now at eight forty, and I sell it now. 45. Save 50. So round up. You'll never forget what you paid for it at 850. 845000 here in the second row. And selling. Don't even be slightly confused. 50. Five. He's back like Bill Craig here now. Do I say 60, sir? Or here, 855 to the back, and he looked six, 856. Seven, I assume, 857, and eight is it, or 60. Don't be afraid to jump ahead of it, 860. 860,000 now. I wanted it, it's 58, okay, no problem. 60, 860 immediately to the rear. You're not out of it yet, sir. I just felt like I was need to know you, but at 860 here, how are you traveling? First call at 860, because I let it go, Twice then at $860,000 to the ringer. Third and final call, chasing another signal. It's going then, all silent. I won't take a late bid once the paper hits the hand. At $860,000, do not clap yet, madam. Twice. Third and final call then, all done and finished. It's going, going now, and sold the rear. Sir. Congratulations, commiserations obviously to our underwears. I do appreciate the effort that's gone and thanks very much and have a great awful winter's day. Thank you.